Today we'll be demonstrating an ankle and foot examination. And to start off, we'll be discussing lateral ankle sprains. Now, in all athletic injuries, ankle sprains make up about 40% of those injuries. And of that 40%, 85% tend to be lateral ankle sprains or inversion sprains as they're called. Now, many people will actually suffer recurrent lateral ankle sprains. And primarily, when we see that in individuals, it can be as high as 40% of those who have had an ankle sprain. You'll see that they're actually recruiting muscles differently, and they have difficulty activating muscles in their ankles, knees, and hips during activity. So quite a significant injury. Now, the first part of the examination will be palpation. So let's palpate some key anatomical structures that are involved in injuries. Starting out, we're gonna look at three main ligaments here on the lateral aspect of the ankle. We look at the anterior talofibular ligament, the ATFL, which runs in this direction. We'd also look at the calcaneal fibular ligament, which runs this way. And then the posterior talofibular ligament, the PTFL, which runs posterior at a slight angle. Now, thinking of these three ligaments, the most commonly injured one would be the ATFL. Secondly would be the CFL, the calcaneal fibular ligament, and lastly but not very often would be the PTFL. If the CFL and the ATFL ligaments were damaged, that would create considerable instability in the ankle. And that occurs with a plantar flexed, adducted, and slightly supinated uh, position, meaning an inversion ankle sprain. Now, another thing to think of in this type of injury would be potential damage to the superficial peroneal nerve, which runs through this area. And with that inversion sprain, you can get a tractional type of injury. Two other points to make would be looking at the peroneus longus and brevis muscles. As they run down, those tendons run right behind the lateral malleolus and down towards the foot. So as that were to be inverted, you could actually damage the tendons and muscle fibers. And one thing to note is a lot of the times in the recovery stage after an injury, you'll actually find that those tendons could subluxate or kind of move out of their proper position. So those are the key landmarks that we're looking at when examining the ankle. Now, regarding the lateral ankle sprain, there's two tests I'd like to cover. The first one being the anterior drawer test, and that's going to test the ATFL, the anterior talofibular ligament. So to perform that test, I'm gonna stabilize the lower limb here, and I'm gonna grab from the back of the foot, and I'm trying to create movement in this direction to stress that ligament and see if it's been damaged. So we're gonna see if there's any translation. There we go. Good. So the second test is looking at the calcaneofibular ligament here, the CFL. And that one is a forced inversion test. So we're going to stabilize the leg once again, and we're creating inversion. And as you can see here, we're really stretching out the ligament. There we go. So, And now one thing to mention is when performing this, we're looking for laxity, the end feel, to see if there's any resistance or decreased resistance. If we suspect that something has occurred here, we always want to compare to the non-symptomatic side to gauge the two and see what the differences are. So very important when doing these tests, always look at both sides.